ahead and grab the hubcap and gently tug away. Using a 19 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove the lug nuts. Go ahead and grab the wheel, remove it and set it aside. Using a 21 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove the nut off of the tie rod end here. So we're just gonna go ahead and thread the nut on just a little bit to capture this unit here. We're gonna go ahead and strike the end of the knuckle. That should pop the tie rod end out. With that now loose, we'll go ahead and remove the nut the rest of the way and pull the tie rod out. I want to break our jam nut free there. Now what we want to do is spin off our tie rod end and we're going to count the amount of revolutions it takes to thread it off of the inner tie rod. Let's go ahead and spin off our inner jam nut here. Remove our wrench. Using a pair of pliers, we want to go ahead and remove the clamp on the boot. Using the pliers, we go ahead and grab the boot, break that free. Let's go ahead and slide that off. Now on the inboard part of this boot, what's left of it, there is a metal band. Just need to grab some pliers, grab that band any which way and just cut it off. Take off the remainder of the boot. We're going to install our inner tie rod end tool. And we'll tighten this down. Use our 3 8 ratchet to go ahead and break this free. Once we break the inner tie rod free, we can go ahead and just throw a regular set of adjustable pliers on here and spin this off. Go ahead and install the inner tie rod, get that started. And we did put a dab of blue Loctite on those threads just to hold this into place. I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down to 74 foot pounds Get and install the boot, slide that up, and we're gonna work that onto the rack. Take the supplied zip tie, feed that up and around the inner part of the boot. You wanna line it up. Grab your pliers. Make sure that's on there nice and tight. I'm just going to snip off the excess. Go ahead and work our boot inward. It'll pop into a notch on the inner tie rod there. Bring our clamp up. Just work that clamp on and get it into place. I'm going to thread on our inner tie rod jam nut. Now we have taken a preliminary count of 18 full revolutions to get our outer tie rod on. Let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to spin that jam nut down just to hold it in place. Remove our castle nut for the outer tie rod. Give that a couple of bonks. Let's go ahead and line that up with our knuckle. Let's go ahead and snug down this nut. I'm gonna go ahead and torque this to 33 foot pounds. Once you torque it to 33 foot pounds, it is an additional 95 degrees, which is a hair bit more than a quarter of a rotation. So we're going to go a 
There was a quarter. There we go. Now once you crank that nut down to that 95 degrees, you want to make sure that the notch in your castle nut here lines up with the hole in the ball joint. If it doesn't, go ahead and just tighten it up a little bit more to get it to that notch there. Feed your cotter pin through. And go ahead and get that bent over. Snip off the excess. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down our jam nut here. I'm going to go ahead and adjust your outer tie rod just so it's level. This point here, once this is done, you get your wheel remounted. Go ahead and go down and get your alignment done. Go ahead and install your wheel. And go ahead and get all your lug nuts started by hand. Go ahead and snug these down. I'm going to go ahead and torque the lug nuts down to 103 foot pounds. Do this in a crisscross or star pattern. If your vehicle has a wheel cap, you want to pay attention and check for any notches in the cap. This is going to be the spot where you want to line up with your valve stem. Line that up. Press it on. 